Pari Luis. It has become a customary that every Thursday night we'll have an English speaking program where, for the last 17 years, I've been presenting uh, the program called Pari Luis or Tselgar Zika in the Armenian language. And uh, I had always questioned the intentions of the younger generation who is not capable of expressing in Armenian but are very much capable in expressing their opinions in the English language. And at the same time, uh, we've been living in Southern California for over 100 years right now. Remember, in 1920, there was an Armenian boy born in Glendale who became Secretary of the Navy. So we're not just newcomers. We've been here since 1618. And as a non-Armenian speaking viewer or somebody who relates to the Armenians, uh, I'm sure you have an opinion about the Armenians because we always tend to talk about ourselves as we are, we are, we are, but we never listen on what others think about us, be it good or bad, because I believe that when we present ourselves or others talk about how we act, that will improve the way we can communicate and we can present everything Armenian on the planet. Um, it's a two-way highway and not only a one-way. So as we start the show, I don't have a topic yet for you, but you guys are calling me. Thank you very much. I'm sure it's going to be somebody who's going to say, how come I'm not speaking in Armenian today? Let me see what they want to say. Pari Luis? Pari Luis? Pari Luis? Well, I guess it was a wrong number because nobody wants to express anything. Now, as a young Armenian who was born or raised in the United States, uh, you are bombarded with what we Armenians bring in with us from the old country, being it the old country meaning Armenia or being it the old country being every other country that Armenians have settled after the Armenian genocide and after that came to the U.S. So all these values from these countries are partially acceptable or non-acceptable in the U.S. because the way we live in the U.S. and the younger generation is exposed to is totally different. The values have changed. The understanding of what is an Armenian has changed. When you were in one country that doesn't have influx of Armenians from different countries, for you the Armenian identity is very pure of the setting that you are in. Let's say Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, France, Jordan, Iraq. But when you come to the U.S. and then suddenly you see the United Nations of Armenians. You have an Armenian from Iraq, an Armenian from Syria, an Armenian from Lebanon, an Armenian from Iran, an Armenian from Armenia, an Armenian from Russia, an Armenian from France, an Armenian from Egypt. And suddenly you are bombarded with seven or eight different identities who each claim what do they present is authentically Armenian. And you as a younger generation... You go first with what your parents are telling you, which they are part of that seven or eight different nationality uh, connection to the Armenian identity. So you grow up in the U.S. knowing that what your parents have told you is the Armenian. Yet it's very possible that what they're telling you is not Armenian. It's just from the country that they came from. So please call me and express to me, do you see differences among Armenians who come from different countries and what they consider to be Armenian? Pari Luis. Pari Luis. Pari Luis. Again, they're calling, but they don't want to talk. That's another Armenian identity issue, too. We are sometimes very uh, afraid to express, but we do call. Let's see. Pari Luis, Sergavzika. Hello. Ayo, Parev. 
Այսօրվա ձերակիրը անկերենով է։ Ո, անկերենով է։ Ոկե, չեր, գիտեք ինչ պետի խնդրեի իրեն։ Իրեն հետն ես խոսում։ You're talking to him. Ալո։ Այո։ Արե, պարե։ Հա, գիտեմ, բայց ես մեր պամը պետի խնդրեի։ Անչալ որը իմ մեջ Yes, I'm listening to you. Yeah, now, the, today's program is in English. Again, I'm insisting on the English language because it's about time for Armenians to understand what non-Armenian speaking individuals think about Armenians. That's one. And the second part is the younger generation who cannot express in Armenian, but they do feel Armenian, they want to express in English. So here is a venue for them to be able to express. Again, another Armenian issue is that we are always afraid of expressing ourselves, especially the younger generation. Because the older generation, there is another Armenian word besides Parilus and Sergarzika, which is Amote. It is a shame. That's the translation of the word. And we bombard our younger generation, being from kindergarten and going up, that it is Amote. You can't express. Because this is how we were born, this is how we do stuff. And you as a younger person who is part of the 21st century and we are part of the 17th century, the way we think. Um, you can't express you in a free environment. And unfortunately, this is another venue here right now for you to be able to express. Uh, not that many nationalities are given the choice of being, to be able to express what's on their mind. We see today in Middle East, people are afraid of expressing. Uh, sometimes even in Armenia, uh, people are afraid of expressing because we are tending, as much as we are a free independent republic right now, but there is tendency of making people say nothing because they might have some bad consequences happening to them. But here in the States, you're more than welcome to call in and express. Now, my question today is, being an Armenian, I was born in Lebanon. I present myself as an Armenian from Armenia. But unfortunately, today's society, people tend to associate themselves with their birthplaces, such as Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, um, and other countries, and identify their Armenian culture with what they have ex experienced and expressed in those countries. Um, so, and unfortunately, none of them present to you even the Armenian identity. Not even Armenians from Armenia can purely identify or present to you the Armenian identity because it's influence, and especially in Armenia, uh, they love to be influenced. That's an Armenian character. Now, if you are living abroad in different countries, the society will impose on you certain values, and the society will impose on you some cultural differences, which is adaptive of the local culture. But in Armenia, unfortunately, even though it's supposed to be 100% Armenian culture, we tend to see this, there's another word in Armenian which means odaramol, like uh, we tend to like others more than we like ourselves. So here we think by singing an R&B or singing some of the U.S. musical culture, we will be more intellectually stimulating others. But unfortunately, presenting the Armenian culture is the uniqueness of our culture will make you more intellectually stimulating others because with that you are presenting something unique. By being a copycat, you're just a copycat and people will take you in that value. So please, the younger audience or the elderly can call in and express about what is the Armenian identity. It is very important for every individual to have an identity. And as everybody says, the United States of America is a melting pot. Uh, that was 100 years ago. Today, the United States of America is a mosaic, is a picture of mosaic built by stones. And each stone has a brightness. And being ethnic 
is bringing that brightness to that particular stone, which is called the Armenian stone. Another person can bring the Arab stone. Another person bring, can bring the Persian stone or the Iranian stone. Another can bring the Indian stone. Another can bring the French stone. And those mosaics, each one of them with different colors, put all together, will present to you the tapestry and the beauty of the United States of America. So it's no longer for you to change your identity to be accepted in, in, in your social uh, communities. Today, being ethnic is more sought after in the U.S. because people want to be intellectually stimulated and knowing about other cultures. So please call in and express your opinion, or in Armenian, Tsergavzika, about your Armenian identity, wherever you come from. Pari Luis. Uh, Pari Luis. Pari Luis. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yes? Today you are speaking in English and you are... Uh, talking uh, very polite, but when you are talking in Armenian, you are lose, uh, using uh, many bad words. What the reason? I have never used any bad words, and if somebody calls me in English and acts as stupid as an Armenian acts in Armenian, I'll be utilizing the same manners that I respond to an idiot individual. So as of right now, I haven't had any English-speaking people uh, say bad things or insult me, so that. See, you act as people act towards you. So, where are you from? I'm from Armenia. So you're an Armenian from Armenia. And for Armenian from Armenia, yeah. Oh, okay. I live in Los Angeles. Not Los Angeles, Orange County. Oh, you're calling me from Orange County? Yes. Thank you very much. Now, um, I'm sure you have experienced Armenian identity from different Armenians who come from different regions of the planet. Sure? Yeah, you're right. Okay. What is your opinion and your experience with another Armenian from a different part of the world? Each Who? Armenian has uh, different um, culture bringing uh, with the, a specific country. Yes. That's the so, big difference. Uh -huh. So it becomes the Babylonia Ashtarak. Yeah, I, I came from Armenia. I'm different. Uh, my my husband is from Lebanon. He's uh, different. So each each uh, Armenian brings uh, the culture with, where they live. Okay, where they have lived and they brought it with them here. And there's always this argument that my, mine is the true Armenian identity and yours is the true Armenian identity. Is that correct? Exactly. So is there a way to solve that issue? Well, see, you're a bright so individual. We have to respect their differences. That's the main issue. Okay. See, you're a bright individual, so that's why you're expressing as uh, it is respecting the other person. But unfortunately... Of course, you have to, even even not Armenian. Yeah. I live uh, in, uh, in Mission Viejo and a lot of uh, Koreans. Every, I have a <laughs> so, neighbor, Korean neighbor, and I respect Culture, so. Exactly. So basically, we go back to the idea of the mosaic, the picture made of mosaics. Each yeah. stone brings its own identity and brightness and makes it into a better picture. How, how come Armenians, let's go to the Armenian identity, from different places, they, all, they are always in a negative attitude towards the other Armenian. And sometimes even from the same region, people are against each other. Is that... That's, that has been, it's going to be... Uh, different opinion. They're going to have different opinions. Is it lack of education? It, it doesn't ma matter if they are educated or not. Mm -hmm. and Again, I'm not saying education as going to university and getting a degree. I'm just saying about self-education of life and respecting other people who are living with you in society. It has uh, 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 deep roots mm -hmm. from, from family and uh, from uh, surrounding uh, people. Okay. There are a lot of factors. All right. Well, thank you very much for calling me from Mission oh. Viejo. And um, bye -bye. every Thursday night, I'll be speaking in English. I guess I'm just doing it so that my English becomes better. Because on a daily basis, we get to learn more and more. Um, they just informed me that I need to go to the one thing that 
is in God we trust. You know, I don't believe in God, but there is one thing, even the U.S. dollar says in God we trust, which is the God of the U.S. dollar. We need to go to commercial break, and when I come back, you'll be able to express your opinion as much as you want. Pari, Luis. Մերի Տերբարսեղյանի իրավաբանական գրասենյակում աշխատող անձնակազմը մասնագիտացված է ժառանգության եւ անշարժ բույքի ընտանեկան խնդիրների ամուսնալուծության եւ այլ իրավաբանական հարցերում։ Մերի Տերբարսեղյանի իրավաբանական գրասենյակի մասնագետները պատրաստ են սիրով եւ նվիրումով օգնել իրենց հաճախորդներին, ցուցաբերելով անհատական մտեցում, կտակ լիազորագրեր եւ այլ կարեւոր փաստաթղթեր կազմելիս, որպիսի հետագայում ժառանգությունը փոխանցվի հարազատներին առանց դատարանի միջամտության։ Դիմեք իրավաբանին նախապես եւ վստահ եղեք, որ ձեր իրավունքները լիովին կպաշտպանվեն։ Երկ երկոց ամենաճանաչված եւ սիրված երաշտական նախագիծը Ամերիկատեղի կունենա հոկտեմբերի 13-ին աշխարհարճակ Dolby նախքին Kodak շքեր համերգասրահում Երկ երկոցի ընտրանին հայկական երկարվեստի ամենավառ աստղերի մասնակցությամբ Սփյուրքից եւ Հայաստանից Անդրե Արուտ Փամբուկչյան Սոֆի Մխեյան Սոնա Շահգելյան Հովանես Շահբազյան Մրո Արսեն Գրիգորյան Էրիկ Լեյլա Սարիբեկյան Անի Քրիստի Արսեն Սաֆարյան Արա Մարտիրոսյան Արաքս Վարթերեսյան, Էմի, Արտաշե Սավեցյան, Սարգիս Մանուկյան, Միստր Իկս, Հանդի Սավար, Խորեն Լևոնյան։ Գլխավոր Հովանավոր, Բիբլոս կաթնամթերքի տեսական ու ներկայացուցիչ Քրաջան Ընկերություն։ LABK Services հաստատությունը առաջարկում է սննկացման, բանկրոպսիի հայտարարագրման ծառայություններ։ Դիմումների ամբողջական լրացում մեկ ցածր արժեքով։ 399 դոլար գումարած արձանագրության պետական վճարումը։ Բանկրոպսիի դիմելու դյուրին ընթացք, ժամանակի ու դրամի խնայողություն։ Մենք իրաշխավորում ենք սննկացման գործ ընթացի գաղտնապահությունը։ Բանկրոպսիի հետ կապված բոլոր հարցերով դիմեք LA BK Services Գրասենյակ։ I have accomplished many things in my lifetime. Achieved success and wealth. Living in luxury and enjoying the best that the world has to offer. Build trust and respect. Acquired taste for the finer things. Through it all, I never lost my integrity. Value and cherish memories of my homeland and its unforgettable taste. Kalikia, ultimate luxury. So as an Armenian who is living who is living in the United States of America and everybody thinks that Armenians are coming only from Armenia yet you see that suddenly there is the name kebab in the Armenian dialect which is in Arabic and then you see a Turkish word in the Armenian dialect it's Armenian you see a Persian word Iranian word and it's Armenian and then suddenly for a strange person who doesn't know about Armenians all those non-armenian identities become armenian uh, you listen to a belly dance music and since an armenian singer is singing it that means armenian culture has belly dance in it and then i know everybody loves belly dancing uh, or watching females uh, dancing their bellies but again what is the armenian identity you as an armenian coming from a different countries you are fighting against what they're telling you that's armenian but from a different region and then you as a non-armenian watching armenians and seeing all of them look like other nationalities what's your opinion pari luis pari luis parev i'm proud to be from lebanon armenian you're proud to be from lebanon and armenian are you proud of your lebanese no. identity or your armenian identity Are you proud of your Lebanese identity or the Armenian identity? Lebanese, second Armenian, because we're proud to be Armenians in Lebanon. Okay. The government is is always beside us. Okay. Lebanese government. Uh huh. Okay. So then. Proud of it. Then Lebanese identity. 
Your, your Lebanese identity is more important than your Armenian identity. Well, 50-50 I can say that, mm -hmm. because that time even Armenia wasn't independent. Yeah. We proud to talk about Armenia. We okay. proud of it. Okay. You know, and the government is always beside us. Okay. Mr. Partamian. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome. Party from? Is. Huh? Where are you from? I'm from planet Earth. Where? Planet Earth. Thank you, Pari Luis. So this individual, for him, his Lebanese identity, he's a, an Armenian from Lebanon. So for him, his Lebanese identity, he said 50-50, but he was saying first Lebanese identity, then Armenian identity. So then you see definitely from the Armenian point of view, then there are some portion of the Armenian community in Southern California who they're like 50-50, 50% Armenian and 50% Lebanese. And some others will be in the same equation or probably the balance will be different, 70% to 30%. Now, my question is, can all Armenians from different parts of the planet can just be called Armenians from Armenia? Or you from Lebanon would not like to be called an Armenian from Armenia, or you from Syria, an Armenian from Syria, you would not like to be called an Armenian from uh, Armenia. Uh, you know, it's so ironic that we tend to uh, put ourselves in conditions that create more complexity to our identity. Yet, uh, as as I mentioned earlier, society right now is tending to be, instead of the melting pot, yet it's respecting the pureness of every identity. You can have Lebanese culture, you can enjoy the Lebanese cult culture, but yet you need to identify yourself as an Armenian with an Armenian culture. I myself, I enjoy every other culture, but I identify myself as an Armenian. So here we go with another question for you. Paris, Luis. Paris, Luis. Paris, Luis. Ayo. Ser Garzika. Hello, yes. Uh, you speak of the diversity within the Armenian culture as something being negative. The, well, not, not the right di interpret that? No, you, you're, wrong, you're wrong there. I'm not saying the diversity of the Armenian culture because Armenian culture is one culture. It doesn't have diversities. But what we bring with us from the, cult, the adoptive countries have... It, it hasn't made it into a better culture, it has made it into a worse culture. Because Why do you think so? I think the diversity within the Armenians is something beautiful as well. Well, why don't you enjoy... I'm here in the United States, my dad was born in Syria, my mom was born in Armenia. Are you? Um, so why don't we just present it from... wrong with that diversity. No, I'm not saying there is wrong, I'm saying that we're not enjoying our purely Armenian culture. See... A Lebanese Armenian will enjoy the Lebanese music with Armenian lyrics on it and identify it as an Armenian. And then you have an Armenian from Iran identifying with the pureness of the Iranian culture with Armenian lyrics on it and identify it as Armenian. Here you are presenting two separate things. Only an Armenian will accept it as a positive, but an intellectual person in the planet will know that that is Arabic and that is Persian. It has nothing to do with the Armenian culture. So why don't we have our own Armenian culture too? Because again, you, I enjoy Persian music, I enjoy Arabic music, but I enjoy Armenian. I understand that. Yeah. But uh, don't you think it's a little difficult growing up in a different country? It's a choice. I just think that's true to our uh, you know cult tradition as much as we can. Well, it, I it personally is a went to uh, high school with uh, mm -hmm. almost all non-Armenians and college, my undergraduate, almost. Yeah on Armenians, and it's really hard to you know, keep to your roots, but I try as much as I can. But I can't deny that, you know, some of the American culture is mm -hmm. um, part of my own diversity. Well, definitely. I don't because you, see that as something bad. Were you, I'm not, again, I'm not saying it is bad. What I'm saying is, why don't we bring the pureness of the Armenian culture instead of bringing the copycat of other cultures with Armenian identity in it? See, when you sit down and you enjoy an Arabic uh, play, and then you sit down and listen to, them, to the same play, theatrical play, with an Armenian uh, language, 
Then you say, here is an Armenian culture theatrical performance I'm presenting to you. Yet it is, I just gave the, the idea of Lebanon, but it could be a French, it could be Italian. Be, because you were right. exposed to those cultures, you take that and you say, the Armenian theatrical presentation is what has been shown in the Los Angeles community by Odar, other uh, writers, with Armenian uh, uh, language in it. So here is, here is the problem that Armenians have. They cannot identify 100% of their Armenian culture, yet they can like and identify 50% of Armenian and 50% non-Armenian. And then, you know what? The, plant, the planet is not ready for copycats. The planet today wants that uniqueness, that each stone that has a brightness to itself, that put together with other stones, other cultures, then you will have a value. How old are you? I agree with you in that concept. I, I think the, the picture you're presenting with the mosaic model, I think that's what we have in our mm. globalized planet right now. And Exactly. That's beautiful. But, I think diversity is beautiful, yes. I know. See, that's why I presented it. But unfortunately, the Armenian stone is not bright as an Armenian stone because it has in it some of the brightness of the other, uh, the other stones in that mosaic. So what happens is this. As a person who's enjoying that picture will take that uh, mixture of so many other colors in one stone and put it aside. Probably by itself it, look, look, it will look nice, but in that whole picture it won't look nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Party. Thank you for your comments. Party Luis. Seyner and my dear uh, fellow individuals who've been listening to this program, uh, the show has ended. You know why? Because life is too short and we need to enjoy every second of it as an Armenian who brings the brightness of the Armenian identity next to every other culture, but not a subsidiary of another culture. To all the people who understood what I was saying, I'm giving you thousands of party Luises. And the people who did not understand, continue watching my show every Thursday in, Ar in English and the rest of the days in Armenian. Pari Luis. <laughs>